To use the mirror tool is very simple. What you gotta do is you gotta select your object. And what I wanna do is I wanna duplicate and mirror this object. And right now, left to right on the screen is the X direction. That tool is found under polygons and is this icon right here, mirror geometry. However, we can also find that inside of mesh, mirror geometry. We can check our options and notice that we have the ability to select what direction we want to duplicate. The other thing that I want you guys to pay attention is that we have merge with the original and merge vertices and then we also have connect border edges. We're going to leave everything to the default and I'm not going to pay attention right now what the direction is because I want to show you guys how to change that on the fly. So I'm going to hit mirror and notice that it has made a mirror copy of our object. Now, if you look at the mirror direction inside of our poly mirror, notice that it gave us the direction of positive X. All you have to do is with your left mouse button, click inside of this positive X and switch it to negative X. Now, because we have merge border vertices, our border vertices right here were merge, but sometimes you don't want to have those merge. So you go right here where it says merge mode and select don't merge vertices, or in this case, border vertices. Let me show you what connect does. If I go to merge mode and I click on connect border edges, it's going to look at the border edges of the object mm. and it's going to enclose everything. This is good for certain things. But in our situation, what we want to do is use merge only the border vertices. And that is the border on the mirror. So now I'm going to duplicate this piece right here again. So I'm going to hit G. And again, it's going to repeat the same operation. But in this case, I want to go in the Z direction. If you look at the uh, bottom left of your camera, you will notice that Z is going left and right. So I'm going to go negative Z and it has duplicated this object, mirrored it in the negative Z. Now, you will notice that merging did not occur. And that is because we have too small of a threshold. So what you can do is you can go to your threshold and type in something like 0.01, and now we've made the threshold bigger, so the vertices will merge. And this is how you use the mirror geometry tool in Maya.